right? So, um, so Narada Muni had gone to Prahlad Maharaj, and from Prahlad Maharaj he had about Hanuman. Prahlad Maharaj said, no, he said, I'm not the greatest devotee. He said, I don't do any service for, for the Lord. I only remember him. When Prahlad began to tell him about Hanuman, he said, Hanuman, he's really a great devotee. He does so much service for, for Lord Ramachandra. And he described, Prahlad described, he said, he's very powerful. He was given a lot of benedictions by the different demigods. And he doesn't get old and he doesn't die. And he's not afraid of anything. And he takes vows and he keeps his vows. And he does many different auspicious activities. He's a very great servant of Lord Ramachandra. One of Hanuman's vows was that he's very strict brahmachari, practices celibacy, very strict celibacy. We know that's unusual for monkeys. Monkeys are usually very lusty people. They have many wives. But Hanuman's very strict celibate. And he studied all the Vedic literature and uh, acquired all the skills of a poet. And he's a, a great fighter. When, the, when there's a battle, he's a He's very brave. He's not afraid of anything. Mm. He's, he's, a, he's actually a hero. And a hero is de described, there, Lord Brahma describes there are three different kinds of heroes. Somebody's a hero in giving charity. And somebody's a hero in practicing religion. And somebody else is a hero in the battle. And, uh, okay, so, so Hanuman also, he, he, he could jump across the ocean for thousands of miles. Hanuman uh, uh, 
And he crossed, he jumped across the ocean all the way to the cap, to the kingdom of Lanka where Ravan was living on an island in the ocean. And he was able to go to that island. He found Mother Sita and she'd been kidnapped by Ravan. And Hanuman went there and he was able to comfort Mother Sita. Yeah, because she'd been kidnapped away from her husband, so she was in distress. So he, Hanuman, on his own, he threatened all the, all this army of Ravan, and he burned Lanka, and he destroyed many buildings there in the capital of Lanka. Hanuman, and then he came back and he told Lord Ramachandra all the news about Mother Sita, where she was held a captive, where she was held a prisoner. And when Lord Ramachandra heard what Hanuman, how, how Hanuman had found Mother Sita, Han, Lord Ramachandra was so thankful to him. Lord Ramachandra gave him, him an embrace. He embraced him to his chest. When Hanuman jumped over to Lanka, at that time he fought with Ravana and Ravana's army. And Ravana had sent many of his great fighters to go and fight with Hanuman, but Hanuman killed them all. And Rav, Rav, uh, Hanuman first killed 80,000 Rakshasas who were soldiers in Ravan's army, and Hanuman killed them all, 80,000. Uh, and then there was a great demon who was fighting for Ravan, his name was Jambumali, and Hanuman killed him. And then there were Rav, Ravana's ministers had sons who were also in his army, and Hanuman killed all seven of the sons of Ravana's ministers. And then there were five commanders of Ravana's army. Hanuman killed them all. And one of Ravana's own sons was killed by Hanuman. So Hanuman came back. And he told Lord Rama that Sita was safe, and the Lord was Lord Ramachandra was very pleased with him. And Lord Ramachandra accepted Hanuman as his personal associate at that time. 
，在那个时候，主拉玛昌者就接受哈努曼为他的亲私人朋友。So it was Hanuman who was the Lord's best carrier. You know, Garuda is a carrier, but Hanuman is better even than Garuda in carrying the Lord. The, the Hanuman has a big, broad back, and his back is like a nice, comfortable seat for Lord Ramachandra. And the, when Hanuman carries Lord Ramachandra, at that time, he uses his tail to be like the the white umbrella, which is put over the head of the Lord. And it was Hanuman who also, uh, he gave the direction for the building of the bridge across the ocean to go to Lanka. When Lord Ramachandra wanted to go there with his army, they had to build a bridge. So at that time, Hanuman he organized the building of the bridge. Sometimes Lord Ramachandra needs to travel. Just like he has to go to the, the, the south, when he's looking for Sita, he had to travel different places. So Hanuman would carry him all the way on his back. And Nowadays, of course, we all have umbrellas, like here in India just now, it's the rainy season, so many people carry umbrellas with them. But the white umbrella is a special umbrella, it's only actually for the kings. Yeah, right. Uh, so Hanuman would use his tail to, because Hanuman has a white tail, so he would use it to put his tail over the head of Lord Ramachandra. Because Lord Ramachandra was living in the forest, so there's no umbrellas there. So Hanuman would just use his tail. And when they were building the bridge, it was Hanuman who got all the monkeys to help to build it. Yeah, because the monkeys were big and strong, they could throw the biggest rocks into the sea to build the bridge. And it was Hanuman who satisfied the desires of Vibhishan. Vibhishan is the brother of Lord Oh, he's a brother of Ravana, but he's a supporter of Lord Ramachandra. Yeah, but he's a supporter of Lord Ramachandra. 
And uh, it was Vibhishan who became the the ruler of Lanka after Lord after Lord Ramachandra killed Ravana, then Vibhishan became the king of Lanka. And it was Hanuman who he actually destroyed all the army of of Ravana. And it was Hanuman who went to get the, the special herb. When Lakshman got injured, there was a special herb needed to cure him. And it was Hanuman who went to get that herb to bring it to cure, to cure Lakshman. So Vibhishan, we said Vibhishan is the brother of Ravana, but he always wants to be a servant of Lord Ramachandra. And it was Hanuman who told Lord Ramachandra that Vibhishan is actually a great devotee. That he was actually worshipping Lord Ramachandra. So when when Ravan when Lord Ramachandra came there to fight with Ravan, Vibhishan he left Ravana. And he came to join Lord Ramachandra. So Vibhishan, he, he came away from the kingdom of Lanka, he crossed the ocean, and he came to where Lord Ramachandra was. And it was Hanuman arranged for him to meet with Lord Ramachandra. So, uh, um, So during the battle between Lord Ramachandra's armies and the army of Ravan, Ravana had one son, Indrajit, and that Indrajit he attacked in the night. And when he attacked him, he used his magic, he used magic, and he made all the monkey soldiers unconscious. And so at that time, Lakshman, the brother of Lord Ramachandra, he also pretended to become unconscious. Because Lord Brahma had given them a benediction, he'd given these, these uh, he'd given this Indrajit a benediction that he could put everybody to sleep. Make them all unconscious. So there was one, the, 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 Lord Ramachandra had the, the, there was one monkey doctor, he was, he was a, in the army of the monkeys, but he was actually a doctor. And so he told Hanuman that you have to go and get this herb in order to revive everyone, to bring them out of the unconscious condition. So, 
Right, and uh, uh, the, and to get that herb, they had, had they had to go all the way to the Himalayas. There's a there's a mountain in the Himalayas called the Ganga Madana Mountain. And there, there was a special herb. It was the only herb which could save their lives and bring them out from the unconscious condition. So Hanuman had to go there twice in order to bring that herb. And when he went there, he, when he got to that mountain, then he had to fight with an army of the Gandharvas because they didn't want him to take the herb. And when Hanuman got there to the mountain, he wasn't able to find out which was the herb. So he brought the whole mountain. So he didn't want to spend too much time looking for it. So he just brought the whole mountain because they thought if it takes too long, then they'll all die. So you could see how, what a great hero Hanuman was. He did so many wonderful activities. All the other monkeys, they all loved him very much. And he brought, he made, he made Lord Ramachandra very happy and Lakshman also very happy. They all loved him. And Hanuman not only carried Lord Ramachandra, he would also carry Lakshman on his back. They both of them together. And he's also very intelligent and very brave. And he was able to help so much for Lord Ramachandra to defeat the demon Ravana. And so he made Lord Ramachandra famous by killing the demon of the, the by killing Ravan who was the king of the Rakshasas. Yeah, when they were fighting with Ravana's army it was Hanuman used his intelligence to give a lot of advice to Lord Ramachandra about what to do and how to fight them. Because Hanuman had already been to that island before, and he knew about all Ravana's army and about all of his different powers. He knew a, a, a lot about the enemy, so he could advise Lord Ramachandra how to defeat the enemy. Uh, 
So when they were fighting at that time, Hanuman also had Lord Ramachandra and Lakshman right on his back. They would carry them while they fought. They could fire their arrows. And it was Hanuman who encouraged Mother Sita because Mother Sita was very distressed because she'd been kidnapped by Ravan. So Hanuman, he still lives in this world. Oh, but he's unable, he, he feels great separation from Lord Ramachandra. So after Ramachandra, Lord Ramachandra killed Ravana, then Hanuman brought that news to Mother Sita. Mother Sita had been kept a prisoner in a place where there was many Ashok trees. It was a garden of Ashoka trees. And she was feeling very distressed because she, she, for a long time she'd been kept a prisoner there in this kingdom of Ravana. Ravana always wanted to enjoy sex with Mother Sita, but Ravana ha could not force her to, to give to have sex with her, with him. She had to agree. If he forced her, then she would then he would die because he had a curse against him. One time he had raped the wife of one of the demigods. So at that time the demigod cursed him that if you ever rape another woman again, you will die. So Ravana would always come to Mother Sita and tell her that you have to agree to have sex with me. And if you don't agree, then I'll kill you, I'll cut you up and eat you. So Mother Sita was living in great fear, uh, but then Hanuman came and told her that your husband, Lord Ramachandra, is coming and he's killed Ravana. So when Sita got the news that her husband was coming, then she came back to life and she became happy. And Hanuman brought her to meet Lord Ramachandra. So you can see all the nice service Hanuman did for Lord Ramachandra. So Prahlad has been describing all of this, he's just describing all the glories of Hanuman to Narada Muni. Now Prahlad is going to tell us about the different rewards Hanuman got for his service to Lord Ramachandra. Now Prahlad is going to tell us about the different rewards Hanuman got for his service to Lord Ramachandra. 
So when, when, when Lord Ramachandra, after he'd been in exile for 14 years, then he came back to the kingdom, he became the king of Ayodhya, his capital. So when Lord Ramachandra became the king, then he wanted to give some presents to Hanuman to thank him for all of his service. So he gave Hanuman a beautiful golden necklace, which was actually worn by Mother Sita. Mm -hmm. 主张了昌者回到都城当了国王之后,他希望表达他的感恩之情,所以他就把母亲希特的一个金项链当作礼物赠送给了哈努曼。And Lord Ramachandra also blessed Hanuman that he will have pure devotion to him without fail. 让他穿着也祝福哈努曼会对他拥有 uh, so you can see Hanuman's, after the battle of Lanka, then Hanuman's life with Lord Ramachandra was very nice. So why would Hanuman have left the association of Lord Ramachandra? And we know when Lord Ramachandra finished his pastimes on earth, so Lord Ramachandra is going to go back to the spiritual world, to Ayodhya in the Vaikuntas. So why did Hanuman not go with him? All the people of Ayodhya, they were all devotees and they all went with Lord Ramachandra. They all left Ayodhya. They all went to the spiritual world with Lord Ramachandra. But Hanuman was asked by Lord Ramachandra, he, he got the instruction, he, Lord Ramachandra told him that he should stay here on earth. So he he has to stay here in this world. Hanuman also gave all the all the in, all the people he gave them a much better chance to find pure devotional service. Lord Ramachandra wanted to give mercy on the conditioned souls. So he asked Hanuman to ask Hanuman to make that sacrifice. So Hanuman has to live here in separation from Lord, Lord Ramachandra. It's his most difficult service. But it's a very glorious service to serve Lord Ramachandra in that way. And Hanuman keeps himself alive by constantly hearing the glories of Lord Ramachandra. So you see Hanuman is always, wherever there's a deity of Lord Ramachandra, you see Hanuman there kneeling by the side.
side of Lord Ramachandra. So it was very painful for Hanuman to be separate from Lord Ramachandra, but he could survive only by absorbing himself in Shravanam and Kirtan, hearing and chanting about Lord Ramachandra. And there, there, there's a people on a higher planet in the universe. They're called the people, the Kimpurushas. And then the Kimpurusha planet, the, there's an expert singer there. There's this one singer called Ar, Arsh, Arshtisena. Arishtisena. So they're very good. She's a very, he's a very great singer. And he would sing the songs about Lord Ramachandra to help Hanuman to remember the glories of Lord Ramachandra. And Hanuman himself lives there on that planet of the Kim Purushas. And Hanuman always stays near the deity of Lord Ramachandra and he worships the deity. Just like he would offer personal service when Lord Ramachandra was present, he would personally serve Lord Ramachandra. So the same way he serves the deity of Lord Ramachandra. Yeah, it's described also in the Srimad Bhagavatam in the fifth canto. It's described how in Kimparusha Loka, Hanuman is always serving Lord Ramachandra. And all the people on that planet, all the Kimparushas, they are also engaged with Hanuman in the service of Lord Ramachandra. And they, go, they, they serve also Lakshman and also Sita. And then there's also Gandharva has also come there. Gandharva is their expert in singing and dancing and they also come to chant the glories of Lord Ramachandra. So that chanting is always very, very auspicious. So Hanuman, along with Arishtisena, who is the chief person in Kimparusha, they, they always hear the glories. the Lord, Lord Ramachandra, hear the glories and they chant many, many mantras. Hanuman 
来，并且聆听这些呃主 Ramachandra 的荣耀。So Prahlad Maharaj tells Narada Muni, he says, "Hanuman's greatness is known from all the scriptures." Prahlad 告诉 Narada Muni, "Hanuman 的伟大呢，就在所有的经典当中都众所周知." Hanuman became perfect by being the servant of Lord Ramachandra. Hanuman is, um. 作为主 Ramachandra 的仆人的角色达到了完美。And you can see that his service to Lord Ramachandra that is the proof of the Lord's mercy. 而且他对主 Ramachandra 的服务，嗯，就证明了主的仁慈。嗯。Just like. Just like Maharaj Parikshit, he became perfect by hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam. 正如 Parikshit 大军是通过聆听圣典博加瓦坛达到了完美境界。And Sukadeva Goswami became perfect by chanting the Srimad Bhagavatam. Sukadeva Goswami 是通过嗯唱诵吟诵圣典博加瓦坛达到了完美境界。Prahlad. Became perfect by remembering the Lord. Prahlad, 通过意念主达到完美 Lakshmi was perfect by serving the lo the lotus feet of the Lord. 嗯，幸运女神 Lakshmi 通过服务主的莲花足达到完美 And Prithu became perfect by deity worship. Prithu 大军通过神像崇拜达到完美 Akura. Offered prayers to Lord Krishna. Akura, 通过向 Krishna 供奉祷文，达到完美。And Hanuman became perfect by being the servant of the Lord. Hanuman 是通过担当主的仆人，达到了完美。Arjuna's perfection was in friendship with Krishna. Arjuna, Arjuna 的完美是。And Bali Maharaj surrendered everything to the Lord. Bali Maharaj 把一切都臣服给主了 So you can see it's different for different devotees. 所以我们看到，根据不同的奉献者，那么是因人而异。So, being the servant in Sanskrit, we say dasa, dasyam. The servant means offering the Lord the results of our work. 嗯，在梵文词当中呢，仆人这个词意思是仆人的词是达下，意思是把我一个人的工作成果献给主。But that doesn't properly describe Hanuman's relationship with Lord Ramachandra. 但是这并不能正确的描述哈努曼和拉玛查的关系。So being the servant, dasyam, it it it's it means more than just simply giving service, but it, we should understand it means also a a a, a continuous relationship of loving service. 嗯，所以达夏这个词呢。嗯，不仅仅是指的呃仆人，而是一种恒长不断的为主献上的服务。It's a very special kind of rasa, loving exchange between Hanuman and Lord Ramachandra. 它是一种特殊的 rasa， 是让哈努曼和 Ramachandra 之间的一种交流。And it involves all the senses, even on the physical level. 它就涉及到使用所有的感官，甚至在嗯这个物质的躯体层面上涉及到所有感官。Just like when you take a bath, then you purify all the senses. 正如呃人沐浴的时候，它会净化所有感官。So when we do actual dasya service, when we're actually serving the Lord, then we will engage. All of our senses in the service of the Lord. 
，所以当人从事一八下 r a s 的时候，他的所有的感官就是也在嗯从事着为主做服务。So to be a servant like Hanuman, it's very great. It's a very special way in which you can remember Lord, the Supreme Lord. 所以，就是像哈努曼这样的仆人，他是一种特殊的方式，在不断的意念着主。So Prahlad Maharaj thinks Hanuman's service is much greater than his own. Prahlad 就认为哈努曼的嗯服务要比他的服务要更伟大。Because Hanuman is actually physically serving the Lord, and he is remembering the Lord, but Prahlad. He said, "I'm only, I'm only thinking of the Lord in my mind. I only remember Him in my mind." But Hanuman, he's actually doing things for the Lord. Prahlad, he said, his service is just in his mind, in his mind, constantly thinking of the Lord. And Hanuman is in a vibrant, active state, serving the Lord. So Hanuman got. A boon of liberation from Lord Ramachandra. Hanuman 从主那里获得了解脱的祝福。But Hanuman never wanted that boon. He never wanted to accept liberation. He just wanted the opportunity to serve. 但是哈努曼本人从来。So this is Hanuman's greatness that even though he was offered liberation by Lord Ramachandra, he didn't want it. This is Hanuman's greatness that even though he was offered liberation by Lord Ramachandra, he didn't want it. Yeah. So liberation was given to Hanuman, but he didn't want it. Yeah. So liberation was given to Hanuman, but he didn't want it. Yeah. So liberation was given to Hanuman. Without, although he, he didn't even try for it, but he didn't want it even when it was given to him. He didn't want to take it. Uh, Hanuman 呢，并没有努力去获得、寻求解脱，但是解脱对他来说唾手可得。但是仍然，哈努曼并不希望接受解脱。All Hanuman wants is just simply service to Lord Ramachandra and nothing else. Hanuman 一心一意只想要为主 Ramachandra 从事服务，他别无所求。Hanuman just wants to continue to serve Lord Ramachandra. Hanuman 一心想要继续服务主 Ramachandra. So Prahlad Maharaj says to Narada Muni, "You probably know more of his glories. I haven't mentioned all the glories of Hanuman. You probably know more than me." Prahlad 对 Narada Muni 说，嗯，你你肯，你很可能知道主 Ramachandra 的荣，呃，不知道 Hanuman 的荣耀要多，比我还要多多。So why don't you go there to where he lives, to that Kimparusha Varsh, and see him yourself? You'll get enlightened when you meet him. 你为什么自己不亲自去他所居住的 Kimparusha Varsh 亲眼见证一下呢？ So Prahlad is not is not telling Narada a lot about Hanuman's devotion. He's just saying some the main points about Hanuman. Prahlad 并没有跟拿尔的穆尼讲述很多嗯哈努曼的荣耀，他只是提及了一些。Because Narada already knows about Hanuman's devotion. Ha Ha Narada Muni knows about.、All. Definitely, Hanuman is a great devotee. 毫无疑问，拿尔的毫无疑问是了解哈努曼的荣耀。So Prahlad encourages him, encourages、uh, Narada that you should go and meet him, and then you will really appreciate him. Prahlad 就鼓励呃拿尔穆尼去亲自去见。So when Han Lord when Narada Muni heard this, then Han, Narada Muni jumped up from his seat, and then he flew into the air 
and he, he went through the sky and he went to Kimparushavasha. And while he was traveling, all the while he was chanting, How wonderful, how wonderful. Ahobadram, mm, Ahobadram. That's Sanskrit. Ahobadram, Sanskrit. You can chant in Sanskrit. Ahobadram, how wonderful. So Narada Muni arrives in Kimparusha and he saw Hanuman. And Hanuman is worshipping Lord Ramachandra's lotus feet. Lord Ramachandra wasn't there, but he was worshipping the deity. Mm. And it was just like Lord Ramachandra was there, Hanuman was serving him, and he would bring so many, Hanuman would bring many things from the forest to offer to Lord Ramachandra, just like when Lord Ramachandra was living in the forest. So Hanuman would bring those same things to offer to Lord Ramachandra. 就像主 So when Hanuman was worshipping the deity, Hanuman actually felt that Lord Ramachandra was personally there. He didn't think it was just a deity. He actually thought this is Lord Ramachandra. And Hanuman thought they're still living in the forest because he had met Lord Ramachandra in the forest. So Hanuman would be sitting there when he was there in on Kimparusha, Hanuman will always be hearing the Ramayana that would be chanted by the Gandharvas and different singers. And Hanuman would be in ecstasy hearing all the pastimes of Lord Rama from the Ramayana. <laughs> His body would tremble and the tears would come from his eyes and the hair on his body would stand on end. All symptoms of ecstasy. So when we hear with love, then that kind of these effects will manifest in the body due to the ecstasy. So the Gandharvas, they'd all come to live on that Kimparusha Loka just to sing the Ramayana for the pleasure of Hanuman. And Hanuman and all of his associates, they would be, they would get, feel ecstasy hearing the glories of Lord Ramachandra. Hanuman和他的所有同友们，当聆听着 Ramachandra的时候，都感受到巨大的狂喜。
that hear about all the different kinds of relationships and nine kinds of relationships with the Lord. Nine kinds, beginning with hearing and chanting. So the hearing the Ramayana, it was like a, it was like take, taking some sweet medicine. It was very effective to cure the disease of material life. 嗯, 呃, hearing the 聆听, yeah, have you got it? Hear, hearing the uh, recitation was uh, like oh, 聆听这个叙述就好像在在服用一种甜美的药物，这是对于治疗物质存在的疾病是极为有效的. And it would give give the devotees more. Prima, more love for the Lord. Hanuman would glorify the Lord with vi with many prayers, and he would he would speak the prayers in poetry. It would be a nice poetry. And he, and he would write the prayers himself. He would make up the prayers. But he would also recite prayers which were composed, made by others. And he would also offer many, many obeisances to Lord Ramachandra. So some of the prayers Hanuman would write himself, and sometimes the prayers he would take from scriptures like the Puranas. So Narada Muni came there and he's in great, he's very happy and he calls out, All oh, glories to you! All oh, glories to Lord Ramachandra! Glories to the beloved of Janaki! All oh, glories to the Elder brother of Lakshman, elder brother of Lakshman is Lord Ramachandra. Mm. So, Narada Muni is feeling ecstasy because he sees Hanuman in ecstasy. So, Narada Muni expresses his ecstasy in that way, glorifying Lord Ramachandra. So Hanuman is very happy to hear the Lord Ramachandra being glorified and to hear the names of Lord Ramachandra being chanted. Hanuman is very happy and he jumped up and he caught hold of Narada Muni by the neck. So Narada Muni was overjoyed to be embraced by Hanuman. So 
So he was dancing, Narada Muni was dancing and he was uh, with his hands, he was wiping away the tears from his eyes. Yeah, right. So he, Narada Muni was sharing the mood of Hanuman. A very special mood which Hanuman has to serve Lord Ramachandra. So Narada Muni could only use his feet for dancing because Hanuman had held him by the neck. So he could only dance with his feet. He couldn't use his arms or his body, he could only use his feet. And Narada is wiping away Hanuman's tears, so... <laughs> So we're going to stop here today and next class we'll hear about how Narada Muni praises Hanuman. Alright, so we'll ask if there are any questions. Uh, is that this question from yesterday night from Yan Ni Ni. Uh, I offer my humble business to Guru uh, Lotus Feet or Glory to Shri Prabhupada. Uh, Guru, how can I double tell my desire with Lord Krishna's desire? Well, you have to understand what is Krishna's desire. Your desire with Krishna's desire. Uh, our des whatever desires we have, you should make sure your desires are in line with Krishna consciousness. If your desires are not in line with Krishna's consciousness, then you have to give them up. Yes. So, you have to know what is Krishna's desire. You have to check with your spiritual teacher, be guided by authority, sadhu, shastra, guru. So Krishna's desire, what is Krishna's desire? Krishna's desire is that one, one of Krishna, he says, uh, if you preach Krishna consciousness, then you become very dear to him. Actually, Krishna said you will become the most dear to him if you preach Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. 
So that's Krishna's. Yeah. Yeah. Another question. Yes. It's the right mood. You should want to go back to Godhead. We can't we we don't have the power of Hanuman to fight the demons. In this Kali Yuga we have to we have to uh we have to try to give the holy name though. It's nice, you know. While we are here in this world, you should cultivate Krishna consciousness and try to give the holy name. And then, of course, we should have the de desire to actually get out of this world and to go back to Godhead. That's very good. Yeah. Of course, but we leave it up to Krishna. If Krishna thinks we, if Krishna wants us to stay here, then we can stay. But if Krishna allows us to go back to Godhead, we can go. The, we should have the desire like Hanuman. We should want service. We just, wherever we go, we want service to Krishna. Krishna Hole. Hanuman, is he a person or is he a monkey? Yes. He's a monkey. Hanuman is a hole. But he's not an ordinary monkey. <laughs> he's a very special monkey. He's very, very strong. Yeah, the, the, these are these the the monkeys who were all with Hanuman. They were all very special personalities who took birth in the form of monkeys, and they came just to help Lord Ramachandra to defeat Ravan. So, uh, these yeah, actually, these, these monkeys are all like demigods who have come to take part in Lord Ramachandra's pastimes. Okay, shall you go in tea? Shall一个是紫如地入帕,呃顶拜千的公路对和老师们,而思考言两年失败,最近经历一段时间的工作体验后,更增强。
像我这个作为完全的物质主义者，逐渐来到奉爱面前的学生，我是是否应该学习甘大瑞母亲，为儿子能量突破、业力束缚、获得物质利益，而做一些什么样的苦行呢？这是第一个问题。OK， g o o d money。<laughs> uh, Shri Shri Rukmanaji is saying that he, uh, her son has failed for two years um, for postgraduate uh, uh, test. Uh, uh, her son still wants to uh, go to postgraduate study. Uh, she, Shri Rukmanaji said that, that can I uh, follow the example of Gandhari, Gandhari Manaji and for the benefit, benefit of my son, uh, what kind of austerity can I do? Uh, because I, I myself uh, is uh, previously is a materialist. I gradually become a student of bhakti. Can I do that austerity for my son? What austerity for your son? 嗯，师弟如果妈妈急，那您想为儿子做什么样的苦行呢 ？Well, the, tell her the best austerity you can do for your son is to become a great devotee, become a very good devotee. That will be the best benefit for your son. 嗯，那师弟如果妈妈急，您为您的儿子能做的最大的好好事儿，就是您自己变成一个伟大的奉献者，成为一个优秀的奉献者。So you can do your chanting and you can do your、uh, devotional service and think of it as being done for the benefit of your son. Yes. 是，或者应该如何引导他？嗯，无论明年考研结果如何，都应该一种平常和积极的心态，快乐的面对生活吧。这是第二个问题。嗯，呃 ，Shri Rupa Maharaj is、uh, asking that, uh, what should I, uh, tell my son? I guide my son that no matter what happened to the result of the postgraduate test, uh, you should face your life, daily life, with a positive attitude and positive attitude and be very happy in your life. Yeah. Okay. But how to be happy? How to be happy? 嗯，但是他，你儿子，你应该告诉儿子怎么变得快乐呢 ？You're going to tell him to be happy. You can, you can, <laughs> yeah. You have to. We have to think. What is real happiness? 那我们应该考虑思考一下，真正快乐是何谓真正快乐？教育生。Your son is not devotee. You're not. How is he going to be happy? For him, happiness is material sense gratification. So. So I don't know quite, you know, you're telling your son to be happy. It's not so easy thing to tell people to be happy. Shri Rupa Maharaj is asking, can, uh, can I elevate my relationship with my family members from material uh, platform to spiritual platform through the role of playing the 
control of a good mother. I thank you, dear Gurudev. Please take care of your body. Well, I don't know. You can try. You can try to elevate them by being a good mother. Good mother means, you, you know, you give the... You, I don't know. How are you going to do it? Good mother, cook some nice Krishna prasadam for them. It's not so easy thing for you to be the mother and at the same time give them uh, Krishna consciousness when they're not devotees. I don't know how, what is their mood to Krishna consciousness. Are they favorable? Are they, are they against it? Or they just don't have any interest? It would depend a lot on them, how much they want. Mm. Anyway, we wish you good luck. We bless you. You try and be a good mother and try and give them Krishna consciousness. Uh, yeah. Okay, Shai Gavanti. Please accept my humble obeisances, O glory to Srila Prabhupada. Pallad Maharaj said that he was not the best devotee because he only remembered the Lord. The Hanuman is better because he serves the Lord. Does this mean that active service to Krishna is better than remembering Him? Yes, definitely. Yes, you should try to do active service. Very purifying. Okay. Shai 仅仅一年他要更好呢 Kesha Priya uh, is asking that uh, Guru Guru Maharaj, uh, is that the accepted spiritual world everywhere in the material world there are demons? Every, uh, everywhere there are demons except the spiritual world. Mm, are there any sex? Uh, 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 and there will be a sex in the um, in the material world except the spiritual world. Uh, and if there are, there are sex, I feel that this very unclean. Uh, is this uh, is this appear right? Uh, thank you, Gurudev. Yes. Should. Well. Yeah. You're saying sex is unclean, but you have to understand, Lord Krishna said the act of sex, the act of conceiving a child, according to religious principles, Lord Krishna becomes that act. So you cannot say it's unclean. 
it can be done in a very clean, pure way. Krishna本人就成为这样的行为，你不能说性是不干净的，性可以是一种非常干净的纯洁的方式。Okay,下一个问题。下一个问题是,嗯,补助你,嗯,哈利克西纳,哈利克西纳,在阿尔朱纳战车,嗯,阿尔朱纳战旗出现,是本人吗?嗯,怎么理解,感恩古龙?仆
OK， 下一个还是有巴提萨奇德的达西，哈里克什纳，因是嘛巴布坦是啦，普拉库帕塞，德巴提 was once put into， 嗯、um, ，shall I read the English one？ Yeah。Ah,、uh, the the Prabhupada said in Bhagavata, Devaki was once put into difficulty by her envious brother. Otherwise, she was well. But Kunti Devi and her sons were put into one difficulty after another for years and years together. Shrimad Bhagavata one point eight point twenty four. But Devaki suffered for many years. She lost all her children except Krishna. Prabhupada writes that she suffered less because she had a husband, but a woman suffers more from the loss of her children than her husband. Why does Prabhupada think that Kunti is more regrettable?、Uh, Yuvati Sachi says, "Hare Krishna." In the Shunyam Bhagavad Gita, Shri 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 Devaki 曾经一度被他嫉妒的呃堂兄就是置于困境当中，不然的话他嗯就生他的生活是很好的。但是昆提 d e v 和他的儿子们被置于一个又一个困境当中，是经年累月的被置于困境当中。这是出自《圣念佛家法坛》第一篇第八章二十四世界的要旨。嗯，但是 d e v a k i 他很多年受了很多年的苦，因为他失去了所有的孩子，除了 Krishna 之外 p r a b h u p a d 写道 d e v a k i 呃 d e v a k i 的苦，较之 k u n d i d e v 要少，因为他还有一个丈夫。但是，嗯，一个失去孩子的，嗯，妇女。但是失去孩子的妇女受的苦要比失去丈夫的妇女受的苦要多。为什么帕帕德认为温蒂的处境是更为令人难过呢 ？Well, because Kunti doesn't have her husband. 因为昆蒂没有她丈夫。She has to bring up the five children all on her own. 他必须得要独自一人单枪匹马来抚养他自己的五个五个儿子。So Prabhupada thinks that he's saying that more difficult for Kunti, and they had a lot of difficulties. You know, time after time, again and again, there were difficulties. So Prabhupada is saying that for Kunti, it must have been much, must have been worse. Day by day, she had her husband. 因为昆蒂的处境很艰难，嗯，因为他必须要不断的来处在这个困境当中，而 d e v a k i 呢，他还有他的丈夫。d e v a k i s children were killed, but then she could have more children. 啊、嗯，虽然 d e v a k i 的孩子都被杀害了，但是 d e v a k i 还可以生更多的孩子呢。But Kunti's children, if if they get killed, she has no husband. She can't have any more children. But if Kunti's children are killed, because she has lost her husband, she has no more children. 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 呃，整白骨肉，由于身体的问题，需要吃一些绿色蔬菜，保护身体。四月苦行可不可以发誓仅仅仅不吃菠菜，但可以吃其他的绿叶菜？感恩咕噜仁慈，感恩翻译。Yeah, so Devi is asking you that、uh, because of the health problem uh, during the Chaturmasya, can Can I? Uh, wow, not to eat spinach, but uh, can I eat other green leaf vegetable? Not yeah. um, except spinach. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can. Do. Can. 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 Can.
，嗯，但一个问题是，西达拉米顶拜咕噜做奉献服务至少得到人的躯体，那为什么哈努曼得到猴，嗯，得到猴的躯体呢？ Why did Hanuman get a monkey body? Yes. Because that was the body that gave him the greatest strength and ability to perform all the wonderful service for Lord Ramachandra. If he had the human body, he wouldn't be able to do all the wonderful things he did. It was monkeys who could do all these things, like jumping and. Uh, he had a tail. He used his tail also for the service of Lord Ramachandra. And so, you see, ha Ravana had a a boon that he could not be killed by any uh, by any uh, demigods. He couldn't be killed by any demigod. He couldn't be killed by uh, any kind of weapon. So, they came in the form of. Uh, Monkeys, and they were able to fight for Lord Ramachandra. They could do many wonderful things which couldn't be done in the human body. Hmm. Because in the monkeys, the monkeys have more power, more strength. Hmm. They can do better things for Ramachandra. Hmm. They can do many miracles. But human beings cannot. 不能在这方面做很多奇迹了，比如说猴子可以跳跃呀、啊，它还有尾巴，它可以用尾巴做服务。因为 Ravana 他曾经得到过祝福，不被任何半人杀死，不被武器所杀。嗯，所以，呃，哈姆曼他就以猴子形象而来。Yes。下一个是喜羊羊，顶拜咕噜马哈拉贾的莲花族。初级奉献者如何学习哈努曼的完美仆人服务？如何做咕噜满意的仆人和奉献者的仆人 ？One thing I want to add before you translate, I want to say that Hanuman is the form in the spiritual world. That the Hanuman is also there in the spiritual world, is in the monk. 嗯嗯，那么那就刚才那个问题再补充一点，就是哈姆曼这个形象啊，他是灵性世界的永恒的形象。Oh wait, I don't know about that now, because we hear Hanuman just to stay here, so maybe he doesn't. Yeah. We don't. I don't know. Is Han Hanuman also there in the spiritual world? Maybe not. Maybe his service is always here. Hmm. I'll have to have to find out more about these things. <laughs> okay. Um. Shall I translate that? No need. Go ahead. Okay. Just tell. Uh, so it, this question is from Xi Yang Yang Maharaj. He's asking that as a new faculty, new,、uh, new people, how can I learn? Follow the example of Hanuman、uh, to be a perfect, uh, per perfect uh, servant, and to become a、um, servant of the Lord, a guru and devotee, and to please guru and devotee. Yes, well, just keep the mode of servant. Just the mode, you know, whatever you're asked to do, then try to do it to the best of your ability. 就是你保持服务的态度，无论。他们请求你做什么事情，要求你做什么事情，你就尽最大的努力呢和能力去做他们要求你从事的服务就好了。下一个吗？也下一个。嗯，下一个小草，顶拜咕噜和翻译，顶拜所有的奉献者，请问。想要解脱的心态，是不是纯，是不是纯粹的表现？不纯粹，还有可能回到灵性世界吗？小草 ，this person from 小草，呃呃，小草 is saying that， 嗯 ，guru， the mentality。I I want the mentality of uh wishing to be uh 
wanting a uh, one liberation. Uh, this is now is that the the desire of liberation is now the symptom of pure devotional service. And if we are not pure, can I can we go back to the spiritual world? Uh Yes, we must be pure to go back to the spiritual world. And yes, you're right, the desire for liberation is not really a pure desire. Sometimes there's different kinds of liberation, like one liberation is to uh, merge with the Supreme. So that this kind of liberation is not acceptable by devotee. Okay. Uh, no, Booyang. they're not the same size. The, ch the spirit soul is not, the super soul is not the same size as the individual living entity. Uh, yes. So this question, uh, in the spiritual, uh, in the scripture, it is said that the relationship is a neutral relationship. The net of devotion related, uh, the net of devotion said that their relationship is neutral, shanti ras, related to the past, last question about the relationship between. Prolat. Yeah. Oh, he's saying Prahlad is in Shantaras? Yes. yes. It, it mentions actually Prahlad Maharaj as being in Shantaras? Yes, she said, uh, this, this devotee said that, yeah, nectar of devotion said like that. Really? I'd like to know where. I'll have to read. Uh, he said uh, later on I can provide okay. detail. Please give me. Thank you. Uh, uh, well, we bless him always to remember Krishna, to be in Krishna consciousness. That's the blessings we give. You want other blessings, you have to go to somebody else.
，下一个吗 ？Yeah。啊，呃，下一个是达奇，请问顾乐，第一次谈车节是在库鲁之野举行的吗？是指主加盖纳的在大大街上游行吗？还是指宗教仪式？感恩。Yes, if the first Rathiyatra took place in Kurukshetra. Yes, Is Lord Jagannath on the street? Is he in the street procession? Is he in the making? A, is he in the street making a person making a procession? Well, the gopis brought him from Kurukshetra to Vrindavan. That's the mood of Rathiyatra, to bring Krishna to Vrindavan. 嗯，然后压着弹车节的心态是，牛姑娘把库什纳带回云达文，他们他们的是这样的心态。The gopis had gone to Kurukshetra and they saw Krishna in Kurukshetra and they wanted to bring him to Vrindavan. They didn't like him in Kurukshetra. So they arranged to bring Krishna back to Vrindavan. That was that's the mood of the prayed. Okay. Shall I go? Ah, we have no. Oh, ah, I said we just didn't have any questions. Then, then another question. Ah, good, good. Wang. 啊，那方法，呃，顶拜姑了。当我，呃，当我这种初级奉献者身身边有些朋友离开我们，怎么理解？呃，就是亏失大的仁慈，还是自己没有做好自己的，没有做好自己取悦对方。佛家方哥也讲，当亏失大爱一个人，会拿走他的一切。Uh, this Harabamsa felt uh, Guru as a new devotee. Some of my best, uh, some of my good friends left me. How can I understand? Is this Krishna's mercy that I haven't haven't um, behaved well, uh, so that to please my good friends? Um, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said, if Krishna loves one, he will take away any, everything. Well, Srila Prabhupada explains, he said, just like when you get married, you see, you lose some friends, you get some new friends. Srila Prabhupada explains, just like when you get married, you lose some friends, you get some new friends. And so the same way when you become a devotee, you may lose some friends, but you get new friends. 同样的，当您成为奉献者之后，就会失去一些朋友，但会得到新的朋友。So, actually, Krishna is not taking any. He's taking his people you thought were your friends are not really your friends because they they left you so easily just because you became a devotee. It shows they were not real friends. 所以，就是离开你的那些朋友，不是您的真朋友。他那么呃轻而易举就离开了，嗯，你现在当了封建之后，所以这就说明他们不是真朋友。嗯。OK。哦，下一下一个是达西，他努曼以声音出现在战旗上，与本人一样吗？战旗怎么是一个人呢？感恩。Uh, just now, um, uh, he asked, uh, uh, still uh, the second part of the question about the Radha Yatra, um, I haven't, uh, 
translate that. What? Uh, uh, he he's asking. Uh, is Radha Yatra refers to a kind of a religious uh, ceremony? <coughs> well, Rath means a chariot, <coughs> and Yatra means a journey. <coughs> so, Rath Yatra is the journey of the chariot. So, yes, sometimes it's a religious ceremony, not always. He's asking that Hanuman appeared on the flag of Arjuna. Yeah. Uh, as a, uh, as the form of the sound. How to understand the flag is a person? Is it the, the same as Hanuman himself? Well, Hanuman had given a benediction that uh, he would appear, that he would be on the flag of Arjuna and then if they were in difficulties, they could call out or uh, they'd make a, a loud sound. Oh, what is it? Hanu I can't remember now all this stuff from Mahabharata. There is something about it with uh, Hanuman told Arjuna, put him on the flag, on his flag. You see, each of the chariot, each of the soldiers, they each have their own flag to, rec to show their identity. And so they have different symbols on their flags. Just like a motor car has a different symbol. You know, if you have a Toyota or if you have a Benz, they have different signs on the front of the car. So each chariot, person's chariot, each king would have his different symbol. Chi He's asking uh, the relationship between Hanuman and Ramchandra and the relationship between Garuda and Vishnu, uh, the two kind of relationship, uh, what, what are the difference and what are the similar, similarity? Well, they're both servants. They're both servants. Garuda is the servant of Lord Vishnu and Hanuman is the servant of Lord Ramachandra. They're both in the same, the same mood. They, they have the mood to give service. They're both the carrier. They are the vehicle for transporting the Lord. The difference is that Hanuman's service is better. That he's, he's a, a better, he's more swift, he's more, he, he moves even better than Garuda. 他们的关系
一种工具，呃，但是哈诺曼呢是更好的一种工，就是承载工具，它更快。嗯 ，OK， 还有多少问题？还有两个咕噜。也呃，快一点。啊、哦，顶拜咕，呃，顶拜亲爱的咕噜队。不知道啊，这个不算问题。他他就问他的邮箱。也，亚秀 David said that she sent a letter to you. Please check your email. OK. 啊。还有问题。还有，我我让讲一个，呃，一个痛苦而接近亏时呢，痛苦减少了，便离开了。嗯，如何看待这样的人？ Some someone out of a, a distress approach Krishna, but after the dis, uh, after the distress is relieved and then uh, they left Krishna. How to um so well, what to do with this kind of people? No, oh, what can you do? They have free will. Everybody has free will. You, what can you do? You pray for them to come back. Encourage them. Distress will come again. They will come back again. 那么你又能怎么做呢？他们都有自由意志，那么每个人都呃都有自己的意志。那你可以为他们祈祷，祈祷他们再回来，或者鼓励他们。他们还会再遇到痛苦，所以他们还会再回来的。OK。啊，我们没有问题了。好，今天我们讲到这里。我们感谢潘妈木基，我们感谢萨蒂马特吉，祝福奉献者团结顺利，万事如意。Hare Krishna, Shri Prabhupada ki. Go back to Vrinda ki. Hare Bol. Come in. What's up? Yeah.